Hi everyone, I'm Hannah Clements, and I'm excited to welcome you to the introductory module of our short course video series on the statistical modeling techniques we've developed and continue to use in the Sigmund group. In this short video, I'll give you an overview of what you can expect from our short course series. And in the next video, we'll explore the historical background of linear free energy relationships, as well as the things that motivated physical organic chemists, as well as other people studying reaction mechanisms, to rely on this tool. We'll close module one by connecting classical linear free energy relationship techniques to the multivariate linear regression strategies that were initially used in the Sigmund group. And then we'll briefly overview the modern implementations of this statistical modeling strategy. To get you familiar with how we've set the short course up and actually why we've decided to put it together, I'll briefly describe the structure of the short course modules, the topics covered in the first four modules, and some of our aims with this short course. In the first video of each module, you should expect an overview of the topics and the key points that will be covered in that module. You'll also probably get a conceptual introduction to the topic that you'll be focused on for the rest of the module. In subsequent videos, the necessary theoretical and technical background for a given module or special topic will be provided. In many cases, this will include information about software you'll need, some tutorials, or troubleshooting tips. But since module one is primarily to introduce the key concepts that we'll focus on and to provide context for our statistical modeling workflow, we don't need any tutorials or software yet. But you can definitely expect to see these in subsequent modules. And I'll give an overview of these modules now. <coughs> After this video, we'll spend the rest of module one building a foundational knowledge of linear free energy relationships that will contextualize our modern statistical modeling methods. We'll briefly visit some fundamental concepts in physical organic chemistry, but if you're completely unexperienced with linear free energy relationships, relationships, specifically with Hammett plots, I'd recommend you do some additional back background reading to supplement module one. In Module 2, Jen Crawford will be taking over to supply a theoretical and technical overview of the first steps in the group's linear, uh, <clears throat> linear modeling protocol, which are conformational searches and performing quantum mechanical calculations. Jen will also explain why someone might actually want to do these conformational searches and calculations. But once again, if you don't have any background at all with using Gaussian to run quantum mechanical calculations, you're probably going to want to supplement these videos with additional resources. In module three, Ellie Peters will explain the parameter parameterization stage of our multivariate linear regression workflow. Ellie will discuss our group's go-to parameter sets, as well as some general strategies for people who are looking to create novel quantitative molecular descriptors. And finally, in module four, Jake Worth is going to take over to describe the statistical methods we use to construct linear regression models that correlate observables like selectivity or reaction rate to computed molecular descriptors. This discussion will also address how to assess statistical models based on their performance and their ability to predict. These four modules should make you familiar with the statistical modeling strategy that we use in the Sigmund group. We hope that this video series will be an effective way to disseminate our group's statistical modeling strategy both within and outside of our research group. Ideally, by collecting this information in one place, we'll lessen the entry barrier for chemists who are hoping to do statistical modeling by prov providing both the theoretical and the technical background necessary to complete our workflow. Before we move on to the rest of the sh short videos in module one, I'll leave you with some resources and maybe some suggested reading. 
As I said in the next video, I'll be giving an overview of linear free energy relationships. But if you're not familiar with this concept, you're definitely going to want to check out some additional resources. I might point you to chapter eight of modern physical organic chemistry, as well as to Hammett's seminal publication on his linear free energy relationship method. And as you go throughout this short course video series, it will probably be helpful to take a look at some of the papers that our research group has published that overview our statistical modeling methods. They're a really great complementary resource to this short course, and I highly encourage you to take a look at those.